Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's build, this is a very special build because it is my first ever collaboration with several other simmers and I'm just really excited to be here and honestly just I feel very lucky and very flattered. So basically how this all came about was a fellow simmer of the community. Her name is Angela, but her username, if you want to check her out, which you should because all of this was possible because of her. She's the one hosting this entire collab. Her name is Amusing Ingenue. So I'll tell you how to spell that. So it's A M U S I N G I N G E N U E. She basically reached out to me probably close to like two months ago now and told me I like your builds, I'm gonna be hosting a collaboration and I you know, wanna know if you're interested. And I'll just tell you a little bit about this collab because obviously I'm here and I decided to take part in it and I, no regrets, for sure no regrets. Like I think doing a collab is honestly a really good idea if you, if you, <laughs> if you are just trying to be, um, I guess like take part more in the sims community that was one of the reasons why i decided to do it and i knew it would be a great opportunity to kind of get my name out there a little bit but also just to have fun and meet some new people you know that have similar interests but i believe it's myself and angela and then 21 other um, builders that are taking part in this collaboration and I was just super flattered because I'd only been making speed builds for maybe like two months at the time. So I was just like, wow, someone wants me to be in their collab. Okay, like I only ever see other like, you know, YouTubers and builders doing collabs and here I am doing one. So yeah, super excited. I'll try to kind of explain things quickly since we're getting into the floor plan now but basically this collab consists of two save files so just two maps one is in sulani which i'm building in obviously and one in oasis oh in oasis springs where we've all built shops restaurants bars vacation rentals and basically just like hangout spots that would be perfect for your sims just to like enjoy summertime however they choose you know whether they're on vacation or maybe they're just traveling to Oasis Springs one day to like a lounge or a bar or something like that. So we have quite a few lots. I probably should have tried to figure out how many lots that is between the two maps, but yeah, they're all filled and they're all just very summer friendly. I guess I should also tell you that the collab is called Hot Sim Summer. I mean, that's, I should have said that a long time ago. <laughs> so that would also kind of explain to you why we built what we did, you know, like lot wise and stuff. But some builders did do more than one build. So shout out to all of you that created multiple lots for this collab because I felt a lot of pressure just from the one, especially since it's my first ever collab and I kind of already am hard on myself anyway, but yeah, I just wanted it to be like, you know, quote unquote perfect or as perfect as it could be. So I was glad I started building this when I did because I did make some tweaks and I'll kind of try to remember to mention those when we get to it. But yeah, I was just like, my self expectations are extremely high for this and I think I did a good job and I'm just I'm really excited for you guys to see what we've all created so I guess we can kind of get into this build a little bit and then I'll you know mention some other things about the collab later on in the video but the lot trait or the sorry the lot type that I chose was a vacation rental because I just love building homes I can build a restaurant I can build a bar but I think my personality and just kind of my style when it comes to building and decorating is really going to be shown through a vacation rental and luckily this was a perfect I feel like a perfect lot for this so it is on the pure perfection lot which is kind of like the back end of Sulani if you're looking at the map it's kind of like off to the left like almost all the way to the left of the map it is a 30 by 20 lot and I did choose three traits for this lot I figure why not your sims on vacation and why not take advantage of lot traits you know 
So I chose Convivial, Convivial, I think that's how you would say that, and uh, Romantic Aura and Geothermal. So Convivial, I really hope I'm saying that right since I've said it like three times now, but I figured it'd be kind of nice to just be able to bond with whoever you're going on vacation with a little better, kind of get to like know them better. And romantic aura, I mean, I feel like just kind of when you go on vacation anyway, it's already like pretty romantic if you go with like a significant other. I mean, you know, if you're going with family, hopefully it's not getting too romantic. And then geothermal, the water here is really warm and I just feel like when I go to Hawaii, the the ocean's very warm and I feel like when you're on vacation, you just want the bath water or the shower water to heat up rather quickly. So I just figured these traits would be perfect for this lot. And basically this lot, or I guess this vacation rental, ends up costing 448 simoleons a day. I did end up naming this lot Barefoot Blue. So if you wanna download it off of the gallery, please do so. You could also, oh, I was gonna say you could also find it under the hashtag Hot Sim Summer, but you can't because I, I totally forgot when I uploaded this to the gallery, but it will be in the save file, which I should have more information on how you guys can get a hold of that. If you go over to my Instagram, my Instagram is Ashley Angelina with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. Anyway, that's also my name on the gallery. So gallery and my Simstagram, it's spelt with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. No spaces, no caps, nothing like that. But this ends up being a two be- a two bedroom, one bathroom little uh, villa, I guess. It's not really like a bungalow. It's like a villa, right? It has a full kitchen and it has both indoor and outdoor living spaces, which we will get to a little bit later. And I wanted to mention that there are some amenities because after all, it is a vacation rental. It has a coffee station, it has some floaties and some loungers, and there is a full bar outside, which I don't believe I've placed yet, but we will get to that very soon. I basically wanted to create a vacation rental that's like relatively laid back and could pass almost like as an original build, but maybe with some updates to kind of make it more of a desired lot to vacation on. I also pictured it being great for a family that maybe has like older kids, like kids and teens as opposed to toddlers or like a double date style vacation. So that's kind of what I had in mind when I chose the romantic or a trait for this lot. But it could also be uh, pet friendly, you know, if you bring along like a pet bowl and or a pet bed, I suppose. And there's plenty of space to put down like a little bed or you could even put one of the bigger pet beds like out on the back porch or like on the deck kind of wherever. And I just basically wanted it to be like an ideal spot for your Sims to like barely have to leave if they didn't want to. That's kind of why I put like a full bar here. I feel like if you're decent at cooking and you know there's a barbecue outside that end up placing you know you don't really need to leave for food but you might need to leave for drinks so i was like let's solve that issue and just put a full bar so there ends up being like a floating bar in the back which ends up being pretty cool i I think i already placed like that floating kind of like dock i guess we could call it and it's also near a scuba diving spot so there's plenty of activities for your sims to keep them entertained um, especially if you have a sim that is more of a loner, likes to kind of be more isolated. They could, you know, totally be on vacation out here by themselves for days and probably be plenty happy. But I figured it would also be nice to have some friends tag along or family. So that's why I made it two bedrooms. And then I just figured one bathroom is also plenty. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this entire collab. You know what I mean? Like it's just it was so much fun to take part in a collab and again I was like so flattered so I just want to thank Angela for putting all this together and for reaching out to me and to all the builders that she did because I've been taking a look at your guys's builds and you guys are amazing amazing builders we've been sharing like screenshots and like our little Instagram group chat and it's just it's honestly been so much fun and you know before before this collab I would go on to Instagram and check to see you know if I have any new followers since I am kind of like newer to this um, like Sims 4 community I mean I've always kind of been a part of it like secretly but like never like uploaded videos and just I never had like a my what I like to call it my quote-unquote Simstagram it's just it's just so much fun to be a part like more a part of the community versus just like 
looking at people's posts and liking people's posts. It was really fun to be able to like go onto my Instagram and be like, oh, I have a message from someone or I, there's multiple messages from the from the group chat. What did I miss? And we kind of like talked a little bit about our personal lives and just things going on over the past couple of months. So I just want to say like, hey, you guys, I'm so happy to be a part of this collab with you all. And I can't wait to see some of your speed builds and more screenshots and just all of the above. I can't wait to see what the maps look like. We got a little sneak peek of it uh, a few days ago and I'm just like, oh, they all look so good together. We all did so freaking good so props to us you guys hot sim summer collab 2021 i really hope that we all do like a collab together again or at least some of us i don't know it'd be really fun but yeah again thank you angela so much for putting all this together because we wouldn't have done it without you i think so yeah now that we've kind of like talked a lot through this build which were all necessary things i feel that needed to be talked about we are moving on into the shared bathroom here so like i said it's two bedrooms one bathroom this will be a shared bathroom and since we're in here i wanted to mention that i end up placing a toilet obviously and i place little half walls on either side of the toilet and every time i brought my sim self here to take screenshots i kept forgetting dude, I need to post or I need to take pictures and fix the walls because the half walls just looked a little bizarre. So I ended up placing, I think either if it's not a full wall, one of the taller walls that has just a little bit of space above it. So you could like put like the wall trim and stuff. I don't think I put it all the way to the ceiling, but basically yeah, every time I brought my sim self here to take screenshots, I would see that crap, I need to fix that. And then I'm like, oh wait, I can't build while I'm on vacation. So then I would finish out my vacation and then be playing with my sim self anyway and doing other builds and like different things and just kept forgetting to fix the walls. So it's in the screenshots. It didn't make it into the into the video, which is honestly not a big deal. It's not a huge drastic change. That's the only thing I change about the bathroom. And then eventually when we get into the like I guess like the backyard or the side yard, the deck, I'll kind of go into that a little bit about what I changed there. But I did use a lot of jungle adventure items, definitely a lot of island living, of course. I think some spa day items, and I just really wanted it to feel like I mentioned earlier, almost like an original build that's maybe been updated a little bit to, again, make it a little bit more desirable. Maybe it's like an Airbnb, but to me, it kind of screams more of like, I'm a villa. <laughs> now we are moving on into the second bedroom, which I feel like would be the more desirable bedroom to stay in because it does have like its own little sliding glass door that kind of leads out onto the back deck. And like I said earlier, I did place a floating bar kind of like in the back, like backyard area, I guess, for lack of a better term. But it, in my mind, I was like, dang, it's kind of blocking the really beautiful view. But then putting the bar like on the other side of the back deck I felt would really kind of like mess up the the view and when you're hanging out outside you want the view and for the most part I feel like when you're in the bedroom you're gonna be sleeping because there's no other real activities to do in here you know what I'm saying like there's no tv I mean your sims can entertain themselves you know what I mean <laughs> but for the most part you're not going to be like sitting in here looking out the sliding glass door I feel for the most part you're probably just gonna be sleeping and then when you're enjoying the view and the outdoors you're outside or you're in like the living room or something where there's like a really beautiful view so that was the only thing I would have maybe changed but at the same time I kind of like justified the change and I'm glad that I did I really liked what I did with this room and it's very like not theme oriented but very like colorful and very spot on with island living I feel so here we are now moving on to the back deck. I just, that's just what I should call it, right? A back deck. So I do end up placing down this white like wicker furniture, this outdoor set, I guess. And that's one thing that didn't make it into the recording is I end up changing all of the swatches to a blue swatch because like I mentioned earlier, this place is called Barefoot Blue, so if you were to find it on TripAdvisor, not a sponsored video by TripAdvisor at all, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
or um, you wouldn't find it on hotels.com, but like uh, Airbnb, <laughs> you would find it under the name Barefoot Blue. But anyway, I wanted to make it very on theme with the blues, and so I do end up switching that off camera. I believe that was probably in the same visit that I changed the half walls in the bathroom. But here I just placed a little candle. I kind of figured even though this is technically a seat, I wanted it to be more or less a coffee table. So I raised the candle to be there. I ended up placing a blue barbecue over here with um, a picnic bench that I believe is from the Island Living Pack. It all just goes so well together. I mean, the swatches in Island Living are just so vibrant and rich. I'm just obsessed and that was another reason too why I wanted to change the swatches of this backyard furniture to that blue color even though these aren't from Island Living it's just it all just goes so well together and I feel like overall The Sims does a really good job of matching swatches when it comes to base game items we're we're getting there we're getting better at making things match and making you know an even amount of swatches but sometimes we're not all there, but I would say overall for like Island Living, everything just looks so good together. You can mix and match for the most part and it still looks really good. So I'm just placing down some debug plants, I believe, and some non-debug plants just to kind of make this look nice and overgrown like this build has been here for a long time. And we're pretty much getting up to the end of the video, you guys. So again, Shout out Hot Sim Summer Collab 2021. I am so proud to be a part of this collab. Thank you again, Angela, for putting this on for all of us. I, I think I can speak for all of us that we had a lot of fun. I would hope that a lot of you had fun. I know a lot of us had some personal things going on. Some of you had some exams and just it's summer. So we're all kind of busy in our own ways. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram. Make sure to uh, follow me over on the gallery. Again, my name on both of those is Ashley Angelina with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. And I hope you all are enjoying your summer and I hope to see you in a future build. Bye!